Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a low poly art piece in Photopea. Go ahead and open up Photopea on your computer and click new project. We're going to name this low polygon art and let's change it to inches. I'm going to set mine at 10 by 10, leaving the DPI at 72. Click create. Next, you need to download an image of an animal or a person that you would like to create a low poly art piece of. Once you've done that, click File, Open in Place, and choose the image that you downloaded. I'm going to do this toucan. Now your image should appear and possibly have some white borders on the top or bottom. If you would like to stretch this, go ahead and hold down the Shift key and stretch from the corner. If you do not see these transform controls on the sides, that just means you need to click on the move tool and make sure that this has a blue check mark next to transform controls so that these corner boxes will appear. The next step that we want to do is create an outline around our animal or person. In this tool or this tool, the second or third, if you right click, and find the polygonal lasso select, that's the tool we'll be using. Now for some of you, it may be in the second, the second one down uh, below the move tool. Mine is uh, hidden underneath the rectangle select. So click on the polygonal lasso tool. Next, we're just going to create points around our shape, just a rough selection. Remember, a polygon has straight edges and is made up of points, so we won't have any curves. Even though my toucan has a lot of curves in it, this is a polygon image, so we're creating straight edges. Go all the way around. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut off his body right here. And keep clicking until you've gone all the way around your selection. Try not to get much of the background selected. Try to stay within the borders of your animal or person. Once you get close to the end, you'll notice that as soon as you close your shape, it should create a dotted selection. If the dotted line is not there, that means your shape is not closed. So make sure you zoom in and close the shape. Next, we want to copy this selection. There are two ways you can do this. You can go to edit and say copy, or the keyboard shortcut says right here, control or command C. So go ahead and click edit copy or control C. Then we need to deselect our selection. You can say select, deselect, or simply say Control D. Next, we want to create a color background. To do this, we say Layer, New Fill Layer, Color Fill. Choose a color that you want to go behind your subject. If you want to choose a color specifically from your picture, just drag the color picker box out of the way and start selecting from your image. Click OK. The next thing we want to do is paste our selection onto our color. To do this, you can say Edit Paste or Control V. From there, we can move him around, make him larger so that he fits nicely on the page. The next step is to start creating our polygon shapes. Go ahead and reselect the polygonal lasso tool, zoom in, and make a shape. I'm just gonna start with this triangle shape here and make sure it's closed. Once you see the dotted line, go ahead and say, Filter, Blur, Average. What it does is average all the colors within that selection. You're gonna now make another selection, a polygon selection, making sure that you're bordering your selection, your shape, next to the other polygon. As soon as you see the dotted line, you can say, Filter, Blur Average, or the keyboard shortcut is Control Alt F. Now you might have a find window pop up. Mine does that a lot. 
but that's just a finder window. It won't get in the way. Keep on making polygons. Remember, the smaller the polygon, the more detailed your piece will be. All of your polygons should connect to vertices, meaning the points. So don't start your polygon just in the middle here. Always connect it to one of your vertices that you've already created. Keep filling in your polygons until you have the entire selection filled. Remember, you also don't want shapes that are not touching like this. If you have this weird selection here, this little sliver of your photo in the background, just make another selection around your shape and say Control Alt F to refill it. Keep making shapes until you have filled the whole thing until it looks something like this. Then all of your polygons. The last step is to save. Make sure that you say File, Save as a PSD, a Photoshop document, to save all of your layers. After you have clicked Save as a PSD, go ahead and say Export as JPEG and scale the quality up to 100 and say Save. Once you have that saved, you're all done. There is your polygon art in Photopea.